every parent wants their child to grow healthy, happy and intelligent. Some make it, some don't. Could this be the reason? Hidden hunger. Let's see what it is. We all might have heard of uh, protein energy malnourishment. But when you have a protein energy malnourishment and at the same time or as a standalone problem you have the micronutrient and multivitamin insufficiency it is called as hidden hunger this micronutrients include the iron zinc biotin vitamin a and together with all the multivitamins this is seen in almost 2 billion population across the world uh, that's roughly about 200 crores uh, in the world India being a very populous country has almost one third of these hidden hunger cases. These are very progressive, slow onset, uh, has a problem during the time of insufficiency and also has an impact even uh, when it is treated, uh, the problems do not disappear. They may persist even beyond the treatment. Today, I will be restricting my topic only to the iron deficiency. Iron deficiency is a significant problem across the world and India has one of the highest numbers with highest severity. 50% of individuals between the ages of 6 months to 2 years are iron deficient and about 40% uh, between the ages of 2 to 5 years. These are staggering numbers, you know so many of kids which we might have seen across uh, might have had some of the other problem related to iron what could be the possible reason why iron deficiency happens in kids to start with mothers themselves will be deficient in iron the nutrition during the pregnancy uh, is not adequate even if they are informed their fadism that means consuming only few products and letting away all the nutritional things away in their diet menu can result in iron deficiency. Uh, early cord clamping and uh, the no breast milk for the first six months, early introduction of cow's milk and complementary feeding which is started after six months is not nutritious enough or does not have enough of iron in their diet can result in iron deficiency anemia. A recent study from the ICMR has said that uh, the Indian diet has only about one third of the requirement of the iron uh, which is needed on a day to day basis. As a clinician we get across a lot of uh, iron deficiency status in a child. How do they present? Some of them present with no symptoms, some of them present with repeated infections, some of them present with lethargy being less active, uh, they don't want to eat, they are very cranky. In extreme cases, cardiac failure can also result in. The problem of iron deficiency is lasting in many situations. You know, as this is required even for the development of the brain and the neuronal and the dendritic maturation, which should happen uh, during the growth period, that is the first thousand days, from the time of conception to two years, if they miss out on this crucial period, results in uh, lack of the cognition skill, psychomotor, memory, uh, which is needed. The IQ can drop as much as five points. And uh, you know, this these are permanent changes and you cannot do anything about it. Identification and treatment of iron deficiency is rather very simple. Just get a simple blood test done. You identify the problem, you start the iron therapy, you are done with it. But despite that, we see so many cases of iron deficiency across the population. Why is it so? That's mainly because of lack of parental education. They don't know what to be eaten during pregnancy. They lack the knowledge about the exclusive breastfeeding and the introduction of cow's milk very early and complementary feed you know which is uh, they restrict themselves to few things and not introducing every diet which is rich in iron um, you know so this is the reason on many occasions we see so many cases of iron deficiency 
complete list of uh, food items which are rich in uh, iron uh, can be read out as per the culture needs and as per the traditional habits. Uh, but by and large, uh, complementary feeding should be rich in uh, the iron. Thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, comment and ask questions. I'll be more than happy to help you.